Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris Cooper, known as the Channel Guy Trader, and I'm reporting to you live from Wall Street Trading's Miami office down in sunny South Florida. Today's date is Monday, December the 16th, 2013, and here is today's midday market update brought to you by WallStreetTrading.com. I want to first start by taking a look to see how the indices are trading so far for the session. Here we have the Dow Jones currently up uh, over 120 points, and NASDAQ's up about 25. Russell 2000 futures are about 11 to close to 12 points here. Um, S&P up 10 and a half points, 11 on the futures. Um, again, we're trading on the ES is now trading on the March futures contract. Don't forget that. Uh, we're seeing some positive action in the VIX. We're having a VIX showing a bid today. The VIX has been uh, trading pretty strong as of late, even with the markets uh, going up. The VIX has been holding a decent bid for the month. Got to keep an eye on that. We talked about that. Um, in the weekend review video again if you guys have not checked out the weekend review video you can find that on the YouTube and you can look on the YouTube channel my Wall Street TV to look for that uh, there um, so we're seeing some positive action in the commodity space silver SLV up 53 cents JJC copper up 25 cents GDX gold miners up 37 cents GLD gold nice little bid in gold today up a dollar 11 uh, USO crude oil up 36 cents, so some positive action there. And then, of course, from the change from open ETF list, we're seeing the precious metals, the miners, silver up pretty nice today. Gold, uh, some weak sectors in the markets uh, today. You can take a look at IYR, real estate's a little bit weak, XLV, healthcare stocks. Um, but in general, everything's kind of uh, green today, You're not really seeing anything uh, standing out. We're seeing a big move in IBM today up 2.5%, uh, Exxon Mobil up over. Uh, 3% from that upgrade out of Goldman Sachs. Uh, some action in TSO via low. Um, Oracle's up a little bit today. So there's some decent action across the board. Not really seeing any weakness in the markets except for in the uh, healthcare a little bit there. Um, as far as the ES goes, I mean, overnight you can see we sold off on Sunday when the market opened all the way to a low of 1754 in the futures. And then around 3 o'clock they came out with some PMI numbers out of Europe, I believe, that caused the uh, market to get a nice little bounce here which uh, gave us uh, an opportunity to get short after we had this one little last pop up here on the open. The markets pulled back a bit and now we're holding this 20-day uh, moving average on the 15-minute chart of the of the S&P 500 futures here. Uh, again, volumes died out. The closer we get to Christmas, volume's going to start dying out. You can see volume pretty much fell off of the map around um, around 10 o'clock today. And you can see ever since that happened, the markets were really just trading choppy right here, a little bit down, bouncing back up. Still fading off of the highs, but um, again, uh, volume is pretty light in this action. You know, you can get some funky action across the board here in this, and especially in individual equities. Uh, looking at the ES, some short-term support to watch for the afternoon. You have right here around 1779 half. Then I would say watch the opening price down there around 1777 half. If we uh, move to the top side, uh, we should have some resistance right here at 1782 half. We had prior support. It's now acting as resistance. All right, we call this area right here actually for a short when we had this little ABC little move down. Our target was 1780. That target got hit. If you were in the uh, MyWallStreetTV.com chat room, you would have been able to participate in that. Again, if you have not been to our chat room yet, go check it out. <laughs> MyWallStreetTV.com. The password to login is smart. So again, keep an eye out for the 1782 half level. We break above 1782 half. We want to watch this 1784. Above 1784, we have 1785 and 1786. All right, below the opening price of 1777 half, you would want to watch the uh, you want to watch the 1776, 1772 area. All right, so how are some individual equities moving? Well, uh, not good, I would say on my end. Uh, you have AIG, a stock that gapped up, broke out of the range on the daily chart, gapped above the range, and the stock has not been able to catch a bit at all. It is chopping around the 50-40 uh, area, which is a support uh, two level for it. So keep an eye on it here, but at the same time, uh, not really giving you a nice little clean trade to the top side, as it never gives you, a, I guess, a clean trade. Um, AVGO, uh, this is another stock that gapped up. Uh, I believe they had an upgrade out this morning, or they're going to be doing some business with some company. I forgot exactly what the news was. The stock gapped up. And it's been fading ever since, finally getting a little short-term bounce. It actually triggered along, like on the hourly chart, over uh, 49.30. and gave you this extra momentum it has in right here. Um, again, AIG, nothing there. AVGO, Twitter was downgraded today. The stock popped up a little bit on the open, and they uh, faded it here. You can see there's not really much.
what's going on here on my end, what I see in this name. Could maybe get it bounced back up towards the 5850 level. You have some people watching Facebook. Facebook rolled over. All right, kind of like a little uh, rounding, little top action right there. Broke down once it started holding below 5390, so it's come in. Uh, I would say keep an eye on this name. They may start shorting rallies. If it rallies back up to 5390, prior support, connected resistance, keep an eye on the area. Uh, some positive action in uh, some, so there's some action in uh, AER as well. That stock moved with the A AIG, uh, CRUS, some, some action there. It gap down, that got bought up. Uh, Starbucks moved a little bit today. Some action there. CBST, another little gapper that uh, faded down and gave you a nice little move off to the low. Uh, CGILD, LL, Lumber Liquidators upgraded at Goldman Sachs. Uh, URBN upgraded at Goldman Sachs. You can see that stock still fading. And Exxon Mobil upgraded at Goldman Sachs. The stock rallied up right out the gate and is now uh, is pulling back a little bit. Aside from that, guys, it's real quiet today. I don't really have much to talk about as far as equity trades go. Um, we'll have some ideas in the after the bell market summary video. And um, again, closer we get to Halloween, I'm sorry, closer we get to Christmas, this act is going to start uh, slowing down. So be uh, aware of that. Aside from that, have a great day, folks. Cheers.